Okay, folks, so now we're doing our count lines two, which basically says we're going to set the pen down behind the robot. We're going to start at point B this time, and we're going to count each of the black lines so that it counts them correctly so that we can see a count at the end. So we are going to do, first off, I'm going to do my usual, which is set the pen down because that's always where I want to start. And notice, don't grab set print color, uh, move robot pen down. There we go. So as soon as I start, I'm going to move it down. Notice I'm going to come over here to the playground and select B because I want to start in position B. Now I need it to count each of these black lines. So last time we did this, we basically had a run forward. And we had it run forward until it hit this line, and then it did something. So I think I can probably reuse that part. So until, so until it reaches, and we did this before. There's my eye brightness, and I need my operator with my less than. So if the eye brightness is less than 50, and again, it has to be the down eye. Then I want it to count, right? Well, to do that, I have to have a variable. That's a computer science thing. I'm going to need a variable in order to save that number each time. So I'm going to come down here to make a variable, and I'm going to just name it count, because that's all it is right now, is it's just a basic count. So the first thing I do is at the beginning, I'm going to set my count to zero, and then each time it gets a brightness less than, move my note there, less than 50%, it should change the count by one. So it should get there. Now here's the tricky part, printing it. And you say, okay, on a real robot, it would print it on the top of the brain. Well, on the VR robot, it also can print. It prints over here in this thing, which is called the monitor. So once I hit play, I can read over here. It'll print down here as if it were printing on the monitor. So the first thing I want it to do, I'm just going to, really? There we go. Drag that off the side for a second. So I want it to print on there. So I'm going to go back to looks, and it says print hello. Well, every time it changes, I want it to print the variable. So I'm just going to go down here and print count. Perfect. So every time it changes count, it's going to print count. Uh, but before I start, I should probably make sure all the rows are cleared on, the, on that monitor window first. Now notice, I'm not using any looping in here, so that means it's only going to read this once. So it's only going to count once, right? And if you want to test that to see if I'm right, watch what happens. So there's that. Whoops, come here. And there's my count, one, and there I can stop it. It only counted once because there's no loop. So I need to put all that stuff that needs to be repeated into a forever loop. So I'm actually going to put the drive forward in the forever loop as well and then wait until this, ha until this happens and then it should count. So I'm going to bring this back over. I'm going to reset the whole thing. I'm going to clear that and run it. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So what's it doing? Yeah, so first off, it counted out to what looks to me like 11. Are there 11 black lines there? No, because it's just telling me every time I'm reading that, I'm giving you a new count. Okay, well, I really only want you to do it once a second, right? Because I don't need it. Obviously, there are not 11 lines there. So I'm going to move this back over, and I'm going to say, okay, great. So let's pull a wait and put that under the print. So it has to wait one second after it prints to print the next number. Now, the other thing is some of you are looking at that going, uh, I don't like that. It went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. But it just printed one right after the other. So what you could do is you could tell it each time to clear all the rows each time. 
So each time it changes the count, it can clear the rows and then print the count again. And that might take care of it. Let's take a look and see what happens. So again, reset, open, one, two, three, four, five. See? There we go. So all I did was change a little bit here to get it to count correctly. And now I have counted all of my lines. So that is the second part. The next part over here is having you change the color of the line it draws based on what color it sees. And then we're going to have you count the number of red lines, green lines, and blue lines separately. So that's a little bit more advanced, but you can definitely do it, especially now that you see how to use a variable to get this to work. So good luck. We'll talk to you later.